Yeah, the third quarter, more specifically, yeah, we spoke about half time at um, keeping our standards really high and, and doing the basics really well. And look, human nature is once you get a bit comfortable, you tend to back off. So um, there's little signs of you know, not spoiling from behind and not centering the ball or having a shot from 55 that accumulated. And look, they took Melbourne's credit though. I thought they lifted their intensity and ran harder and, and, and threw some challenges at us. So. Three quarter time, I certainly wasn't upset, but it was a bit about we wanted to win the four quarters. We lost the quarter of footy, even though marginally. So it was a bit about just speaking to players, realigning them to what they committed to pre game, which was a four quarter performance. So I thought in the last quarter we still had nine shots, a couple out in the full, and bar some sloppiness, it was quite a dominant quarter again. So we, we walk away really positive. I thought when the game's up the grab, right from the start, I, I flew to Melbourne last week, watched them against Richmond, and I thought their intensity and run was a, of a pretty high level um, from where they'd obviously been trying to get to. So, um, you know, to come out and play a physical, win the ball, sort of go quick brand of football, and when they had it, get it back off them as quick as we can, I thought it was really, really positive for us and, and reflective of our whole year, really, at times. Yeah. So I thought we played our style, our brand, and... Um, you know, so there's a bit to take by what I said about the third quarter. So, you know, we've moved really quickly. It's Sunday to Saturday. The Crows have had the wood on us, albeit tight games, and they've found different ways to get across the line. So we need to go to school, learn our lessons. They've had a really good win. So from here, it's about putting this game behind us really quite quickly and um, training well and preparing well for, you know, we want to go into the, the bye strongly. Um, so Saturday night... At Amy against Adelaide Crows, full of confidence. They've sounds like they've had a great win. You know, it's sort of big stage Saturday night. You know, everyone be tuning in, so we're pretty keen to test ourselves again. You seem to get through unscathed as well for one of the first time in a few weeks. Yeah, at this point, you know, there's a little bit. Uh, Alex Silvani come off with a rolled ankle late, so we're still checking that out. But as always, we'll give you an update as more comes to hand. Um, but, you know, um, Subin was in a bit of doubt with a flu. He's basically ruled out, but he come good and played, so we're thrilled with that. We're optimistic as Stephen Hill gets through, but until we see that, and now Peel Thunder team had a really positive performance, and Josh Mallington played well at his club. So um, there, there's a bit to like. Matthew will put his hand up, but we think we'll, we'll um, probably keep him for another week or so. So they're the guys around the edges. Got through relatively unscathed by Alex, we'll have a look at and um, we'll take it from there. Just been happy with how Zach Clark stepped up into the ruck position. Yeah, I commented before where our list profile for Ruckman, you know, Aaron, John Griffin, um, Jack's come in, but more importantly, Zach Clark is a credit to his preparation and his pre season that uh, he worked really hard, had a couple of slip ups with injury, but uh, his ability to come back and um, do what he's done for two weeks has been really positive. But again, um, Big Jacobs has been pretty good against us. And um, not only does he hit it out really well, he runs really well. So Zach runs really well and he'll throw something different at Jacobs as well, him and Hanneth. So, um, yeah, he's got a big challenge this week. We're, we'd love, we're enjoying what he's doing, but league football, the challenges keep coming. So we're pretty keen for Zach and Jack to accept the challenge against a dominant Ruckman and, and give our mids some use of the ball. Yeah, it's reflective of us playing our best footy, you know, turn it over and go. The best teams turn it over and go and they have a wide range of um, goal kickers. And at our best, that's what we do. And You wouldn't look at anyone in the front six or the midfield and go, he's going to kick five or six, but it's way to numbers performance is what we're after and we got that today. Had a lot of uncontested possession, uncontested marks. Was it due to their lack of work rate, Melbourne's lack of work rate, or the work rate of... Look, I just focus on us. We're scoring off turnover efficiently over the last three or four weeks, using the ball well, working hard on our ball use. You know, three phases, contest, defence and use, or whatever order you want. And so, yeah, we take great pride in our work with the ball as well as without, and, and it's a work in progress and we are improving.
Yeah. So what are we? Six, six and a half. And what were we last year? Five, four. Yeah. So we better win up. We would improve. But look, but we acknowledge we improved dramatically in the second half of last year. So we feel we just continued on the same vein. I think second half of the year we'll top four attack, defence, and contest the ball. That's where we want to be. Um, but we pride ourselves on our defence and our contest, and you know, continue to improve our, our attack as well. And clearly, we've had some personnel challenges up there to, to come to grips with. I think we're finding a way, and we're going to need to continue to find a way. Yeah, he's just one of our um, players that we regret we didn't manage him a bit better last year. So it was an opportunity. They were going small. Two tools, you know, they had Dawes and Gorn. Watts started playing on a wing, so we knew we didn't need him. And rather than pushing forward, we thought we'd just look after him. Thanks, Scott.